Right, further thoughts, folks, on yesterday's game, the United and Arsenal game. And really, it's not the match as such. It's the comments after the game by Wayne, Wayne Rooney. They found their way on the back page, onto the back page, should I say, of every newspaper in the UK. And Graham Soonest this morning on the Jim and Simon show has uh, back Wayne. Um, Wayne Rooney is absolutely adamant these players within that United squad that aren't really injured or aren't injured that badly that they can't play. There's a few of them there, he says, that really could play and don't want to. They're trying to hide away from the flak. And maybe I'm guessing, although I may be wrong, one or two of them, one I can think of in particular, but I might be wrong, doesn't really want to play for Ten Hag and he's probably waiting for him to go or hoping he will go. I might be wrong there, but that's just um, that's just the impression that I get. But yes, Wayne Rooney was saying yesterday, he said, look, through, through a professional footballer's career, there's times when you're not 100% fit. In fact, there's more times you're not 100% fit than times that you are. There's many times that you play through a bit of pain. There's times that you play with injections and what have you. Maybe you shouldn't do, but you do. If you do, Especially if you're with a top club, you want to win all trophies you possibly can. You want to be out there and you want to help them win, to win trophies. But there's some players within that squad, he said, that'll come back ready for the FA Cup and want to play in the final and then get ready for the Euros. He said, but I feel there's players that could have played these last two or three games. He wouldn't mention any names. Keno was saying he wouldn't be surprised. And Merson saying he's, he's heard those kind of things in the past. He said, but he was like Rooney. He always wanted to play. Anyway, this morning on the Jim and Simon show, soon as he's saying the same, soon as he's saying, look, I've heard from a very, very rept reputable source within that club, somebody I trust telling me that that definitely is the case. And they've named names. Unfortunately, for all Graham's fearless, he wasn't prepared to do the same because he's keeping the... The, the, his identity source to himself and I sort of get that but you wish when Rooney comes up with these things and then soon yes, you wish one of them was going to be brave enough to tell us the players that uh, that this concerns I think we all think we know one of them don't we I might be wrong I don't know I'm not even going to mention his name but I think we know who we're talking about um, and it's just disappointing you know I mean at the end of the day it just disappoints but to me the worst thing is not the fact that they they feign an injury, but that when they are on the pitch, they're just not putting a shift in. To my money, most of those that played yesterday, and definitely virtually everyone that played against Palace, might as well pretend they're injured and let the young kids in, because at least the young kids will try. That's uh, message one from yesterday. Message two is obviously the roof, isn't it? It's just a joke. We are being laughed at. You know, we're really, really being laughed at. And it makes you wonder, it makes you realise what those owners, those American owners, have done to the club. They've, they've took out shed loads of money, and I mean shed loads, and let one of the greatest venues in world football go to rack and ruin. You know, they could have probably took out two-thirds of the money they've taken out, and with the other third they've taken, fixed the, 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 the roof and the stadium itself, so it was still a brilliant stadium. Just absolutely crazy. Greed to an excess, it really, really is. And it just shows, it really shows, what those American owners think of the football side of things. It matters not to them. If they can't even be bothered to sort out the upkeep of the stadium, the stadium that's prov providing them with all this money, this extra revenue that they don't deserve, you know, if they can't be bothered to do that, it just tells you all you need to know about them, as I say. It tells you all you need to know. It really does. I would hope they were watching that yesterday and were so embarrassed that they think, wait a minute, we'll do something here. Never mind Jim putting his money in. We'll do something with what we've taken out and get that stadium back so it's fit for purpose. It was lucky for many of the fans that it really started to leak virtually as the game was ending, or as it ended really, as a contest. It could have been like that. Ten minutes into the game, imagine sitting through that, with that shower coming down on you. Absolutely horrendous. You know, as I say, we're becoming a laughing stock. You know, it just shows that the football has taken a back seat over the last 10 or 15 years. Let's hope with Sir Jim, we turn it around and we go back to the, the days of the David Gill, at least. Football mattered more than most anything else. And then on the back of the football, that's when you made your money. Rather than making money and not bothering about football at all. Right, that's it from me on this one.